Many Pokemon trainers ask the question, is it worth it to buy a Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball collection? No doubt in anticipation of the upcoming Nintendo Switch game, this collection features two new foil promo cards of Pikachu and Eevee, as well as a sculpted figure of the two. Of even more interest is the included Pokeball, which is actually a deck box and is stuffed full with five Pokemon TCG booster packs and a code card for the Pokemon TCG Online. So is this product just a quick cash-in for those who can't wait a week for the Nintendo game to come out, or a joyous and innovative product offering something for collectors and players alike? Let's take a look! A Pikachu and Eevee Pokeball collection contains the following. One figure of Eevee and Pikachu playing together, two never-before-seen foil promo cards of said Eevee and Pikachu, one Pokeball deck box, five Pokemon TCG booster packs, and one code to receive both promo cards with alternate art online. Let's start with the two included promos. The Eevee is the fantastic Energy Evolution Eevee, a competitive favorite, but unfortunately, this printing will not extend its legality in standard. Nonetheless, the artwork is just fantastic, beautiful foiling and stars, and I think that, especially since this is an alternate art evolution energy EV, both collectors and competitive players will be happy to get a hold of this and might even look for playsets. Currently selling for just under $10 each, this one card pays for one third of the collection by itself. Comparatively, the Pikachu is a little less desirable, though collectors do seem to be interested enough in having the set that this too is selling for about $7.50 each. When you factor in the included online code, which gets you the alternate art promos online, and is selling for $2.50 each on eBay currently, you already have a total of about $20 for this $29.99 product. So are the remaining five packs and the deck box and the figurine worth it? Packs and collections such as this are currently nothing new. Selection is always important, and obviously the inclusion of Steam Siege is very disappointing for anyone still building standard collections. But packs are packs, and we can still assign a value of $4 each, or even if we choose to open these, $1 each for the online codes. And as always, the fact each pack comes with a code to get a pack online is just so much value that it is hard to beat. People who don't play online can sell the codes off for a buck or two to recoup cost, and those that only play online can still see reason to, instead of just buying the codes for their online collection, perhaps pick up the physical product and have some fun added extras such as the figurine, which I will discuss in a moment. Of course, best of all is that this is a bridge between digital and paper, meaning that it's much more likely that fans of the TCG will be present on both. Oh, and of course, as always, the codes shown here are up for grabs. So good luck and please enjoy if you're lucky enough to claim one. Oh, it's a Suicune Ultra Rare. Wow, I just love the artwork and foiling on this card. I guess I'll always be prejudiced to one of my favorite legendaries, but this is so bright and highlights Suicune perfectly. The card is currently selling for about $7.50 each on the secondary market, though of course I will not assess that as part of the value of this collection, as there's no guarantee which rares you'll get in your packs. Still a nice pull, though. 
Really nice quality on the figure. Usually included Pokemon figurines are okay, but not great. Though here I see a noticeable improvement in detail. I hope this is a trend that's going to continue, although I could see them just putting a little bit more effort due to the obvious tie-ins and promotional ideals of this with the upcoming Switch game. While some collectors might be sad that there wasn't an included oversized jumbo card, I'd say for anyone that likes figurines, this is better than usual quality and a fun inclusion. And wow, it's also going for a little over $9 each in independent sales. So again, if you don't like it, you can recoup some of the cost of this product. So the real value here is in this deck box, a large Pokeball to store your Pokemon deck in. It's a brilliant idea. Pokeball deck box. Has this been done before? If so, why not more recently? And if not, why not? Why not? I was so excited for this deck box. The idea is flavorful, the shape and design unique, all it had to do was be functional, and oh, it's not very effective. Unfortunately, the Pokeball box has a few major flaws. The first of which is that there is literally no latch to secure it. I am amazed that a simple clip or clasp could not have been added. How amazing would it have been to literally press the white Pokeball button and have the deck box open to reveal your Pokemon deck inside? Such a missed opportunity there, but as it stands, the ball is only secured by a peg system. And push pegs are far from ideal. They wear out very quickly over time. And while when new this is going to be somewhat secure, over time this is probably going to need a rubber band. Hey, at least it holds 60 cards, but they have to be unsleeved. That's right, the Pokeball deck box requires unsleeved cards, and it will not hold a sleeved deck. Considering that any Pokemon tournament is going to require use of sleeved cards, and even casual players tend to sleeve their cards these days, it is such a disappointment that they could not have made this at least a microt bigger to accommodate sleeved cards. That should have been a must. I'm so disappointed that this can't hold a sleeved deck, because even without the better latch, even with just the peg closure system, it's such a great idea. Word is that these are going to be replacing Pokemon tins, and so getting a somewhat secure Pokeball-shaped deck box in place of a tin to me is a great trade-up, but not when it can't hold a sleeved deck. Final conclusion? The Energy Evolution Alternate Art Eevee is the secret standout of the Pokeball collection. Along with Pikachu, these promos in isolation of the other contents make up nearly two-thirds of the overall cost and are of interest to most players, a clear and solid A. For collectors, the figurine is very high quality, much more so than what we've seen in the past, and a fun tie-in to the upcoming Switch game, which will likely cement Eevee and Pikachu as partner Pokemon for some time. In isolation, I'd say the figurine is another solid A. The booster packs are par for the course, and the inclusion of Steam Siege could have been better, making for a bit of a lackluster feel, but for five boosters over the counter costing more than half of this collection anyway, it in isolation is a B minus. So the biggest failure here is the deck box itself unable to stay closed in a confident way, and unable to hold sleeved cards makes this item tank the overall grade of the rest of the product. And when we factor all of this together, we are left with a C. It's fun enough product, younger kids are still gonna get a kick out of it, but it falls very short thanks to that Pokeball design. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. What do you think of the new Pokeball collection? Would you rather these indeed replace tins, or do you think that this is a step in the wrong direction? Let me know in the comments below. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.